Hi, and welcome to the Supreme Court in Ottawa. Garrett Mansfield and Dar Nebergal bringing you the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans and Solana Lady Bulldogs in Western Buckeye League Volleyball tonight. Two of the top teams in the league. Historically, especially in the last couple of decades, this year, Ottawa Glandorf at 6-0, one of the two remaining unbeaten squads in league play. Welcoming in Salina is they're in a spoiler role this year, 4-3 in league play, 8-12 overall. But Dar, looking around, I mean, this is always one of those you, you kind of have to throw things to the side and let the ladies settle it on the court. We can tell you about where they are, but Salina and Ottawa Glandorf Volleyball may mean serious business each and every time out. Well, like you said, Garrett, I mean, Slide comes in here, you know, as the potential spoiler for this Ottawa Glendorf team. You you know, they're up at the top of the league with Shawnee at 6-0 and 16-1. and they're, they're due to meet on Thursday, I believe. And, you know, you got to be careful if you're Ottawa Glendorf. You cannot, you know, look past this line of team for that game on Thursday night because if you do, you can liable to get knocked off really easily. So, you know, Salina's got a good team. They've got a lot of good players on their team. You know, they may be 8-12 and 4-3, and, and three, but they go in streaks too. So you got to be careful with them. Many members of last year's and really the last two years reigning back-to-back -back Western Buckeye League champions. Out of Glandorf won four straight league titles. Before that, as we are underway here from Ottawa, Glandorf introducing the starters. Marley Buttlemeyer, Claudia Mag, Bailey Krause, Addie Bellman, Hallie Schrader, Caitlin Kimmett, and Sienna Fry for Ottawa, Glandorf. Salina's side includes Emma Harder, Allison Schwederman, Haley Kaiser, Miley Sapp, Kira Bangi, Michaela Stoner, and Ava Kanapke. As we get two early scores out of Ottawa, Glandorf. To get the tone set, they took the JV match tonight, two sets to none. So far, a strong start for the Lady Titans as Bailey Krause sends it back into play. And a big swing comes from Miley Sapp. She is their leader in that category, gets the kill, averages almost four kills per set. And that'll allow Haley Kaiser to drop back to serve. Yeah, 252 kills for uh Miley Sapp this year. So she is one of the big ones up front. A couple other big girls up front as well for Salina. So oh, there's a slam down right there. Sienna Fry there with a big spike thanks to Lee's famous recipe chicken. 3-1 out of Big Landorf early on that Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Yeah, that's 189 kills now for uh, Fry this year. So, you know, you look across that out of Glendorf front line, they got some really tall girls up front there. But again, you know, you got to be careful as a Salina team. The serve into the net. Service error for Fry after getting the big score. Still just a sophomore back there for Ottawa Glandorf. Serve finds her there from Kira Bangi. Now a third hit has to go over the top in a, what was a broken play for Bailey Krause. Just bumped it over, got a little help from the net and turned into a score. Or OG. Well, we've said that many times. The net can be either for you or against you, and a lot of times it's your favorite player out there. A little too strong there for Marley Buttlemeyer. Sophomore sends it, sends it long. Pretty experienced group here for Salina. You have three or four seniors in the starting lineup, mixed in with some juniors in there also, and one sophomore, Kaiser being the lone second year player. Big spike there for Kimmett for uh, Otto Glandorf. Otto Glandorf just needs to you know, make sure that they don't let Salinas stick around. Like you said, Salinas a very veteran team, has a lot of seniors on there, so they're not going to be rattled that quickly. So, you know, if you want to put them away, you're going to have to do it early. As they'll let that one go. And Salina back with side out. Mentioned the experience for Salina as Emma Harder returns, one of the seniors. Ottawa Glandorf a little bit more of a mix. A couple of seniors with Mag and Krause, but one, two, and three sophomores with two juniors through their starting lineup. Back set for Fry, met for Harder. Now set up for Kanapke and dug out nicely for Ottawa Glandorf. 
And that was close to hitting the ceiling, too. We've got to remember the ceiling is in play. Haley Kaiser just dumps that one behind her, skips that set, and turns it into an attack. Nobody home right inside that 10-foot line where right now Haley Schrader is set up to meet the serve. Solana evens it up at five apiece. There's the hit out of Claudia Mag. We'll get a lift against Salina. Now, I talked about the big front line for Ottawa Glandorf, and they do. They've got some girls out there, 188 uh, kills for Sheanna Fry up there, and you've got 70 for Claudia Mag, and 89 for Katie Kaufman. Really do work it around quite a bit. Not exactly heavy on one player over another, with the exception of Fry, but. That's what you like to see, Dar. You like to oh, see that, that ball get spread around and have multiple players with that kill number up there, because that, that means you have multiple options. Here's the setup for Mag. She wanted to dump that near side. Don't know if that was a miss hitter. She meant to come this way, but it's going to go outside the boundary. And we'll leave the serve with Salina for Michaela Stoner. And then you look at Addison, Addison Bellman there with 421 assists for Otto Glandorf as well. There's Fry, hits the antenna and hands it back to Salino again. So Stoner will serve him once more. All knotted up at seven. Stoner serve in, Mag receives and just oh, tapped nice over. Nice job. Ava Kanapke found an opening. Sometimes a, a hard play there uh, to to do anything about when you have a a serve received that ends up going back over the net because you're automatically, I would say not automatically, but more times than not, you're going to be out of position absolutely. and vulnerable to a play like that. And Salina definitely had that in mind. We have two hits on Ottawa Glandorf during the ensuing volley. Well, can happen with 197 kills coming into this match. And you know, that one there, she just kind of found the right spot. Nobody there, just laid it over the top for the point. This will be a set for Fry. Kept up for the Bulldogs. Back set for Fry. Good deflection up front. And then it's slammed for Kira Bangy. And the Lady Bulldogs in a groove here in the first set. And it will take a timeout. We'll take it as well. 10-7 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone Scoreboard. Here we'll be back at the Supreme Court after this. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone. Brown supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Strong start for the Salina Lady Bulldogs in this WBL match against Ottawa Glandorf. And a uh -oh. big hit in the front for Sienna Fry, thanks to Lee's famous recipe chicken for that big spike. Yeah, Fry is 6'1 sophomore. And boy, she got there high on that one and just came right straight down with it. Even if the Bulldogs had a chance to play that one, it would have been a hard one to play. Brings up Claudia Mag. Seed by Harder. The set this time to Kanapke. Out of Glandorf defends it. Schwederman is able to dig out the hit, but it's going to be out wide. And Kanat make that uh, Sienna Fry with another kill. Back to back tallies for OG. Yeah, you watch Sienna Fry, and she just gets up there so high off the ground. And then she just comes right straight down with that spike, and there's nothing you can do from that point on. Mag serve, and a little miscommunication between Harder and Schwederman allows that one to hit just inside the line in the back. Right, we're even at 10-10 in this first set. That's the 25th ace for uh, Claudia Mag so far this season. So jump set this one in. And Kaiser sets up. For Bangy, but kept in the air. Except for Fry, blocked up front, and it's Kanapke. Return to center. 
Well, that's what you got to do when Fry goes up like that, and you got to get up there as high as she is to block her, her shot down. Well, Schwederman smacks that one a little too far. It's been a back and forth, you know, set so far. Tied up again at 11. The next serve from Bailey Krause and just did land it. She'll get another. 19 aces so far this season for Bailey Krause. You don't see a whole lot of players go way off to the left. Especially with a right-handed serve, but Krause does just that. Tina Salina load a couple of fits. Nearly off the ceiling and down, but OG recovers. And with the changeup from Kira Bangi, and that finds the floor. Leave it up again at 12. Slide is really holding their own in this one here, I tell you what. You know, they may have come in as what, an 8 and 12 record, but they're not showing it right yep. now. A very similar record, just below 500 for each. Alec Landorf at 9 and 10 as we have a whistle for two hits on the OGN. Yeah, OG 9 and 10, but 6 and 0 in the WBL. Yep. It just shows you what their off, you know, non-conference schedule must look like. Right, we saw Lipsick in here earlier in the year and a tough team in the Northwest Conference. Really good volleyball league. Yeah, you can pretty much count on Lipsick being up there at the top of, it, of their yeah. conference every year. Here's Kennedy Fuca, regardless of what conference they're in. I'll go a little long for Fuca and hand it back to the Bulldogs. And halfway through this first set, neither side has been able to pull away. And a short serve. Off the top of the net, though, and that's all it needed. Yep, Kira Bangi with the ace. Salina, a two-point edge. 26 so aces coming in this one for Kira Bangi. In the air, and met from Krause. It's going to rattle around in the rafters before falling down to give the Bulldogs one more. Well, this is the opportunity for Salina now because they've really got the momentum on their side. You can see how excited they are right now. And off the top of the tape, going to be set by Bellman. And a big old hit uh, out of Caitlin Kimmett to get the Titans the rally back. 75 kills for the 5'11 junior from Ottawa Glendorf. Yeah, Carly and Marley Buttlemeyer swap places with Amory Young. Back up against that wall. Send it into play, met by Schwederman. And the setup goes for Miley Sapp. And they're going to give it to Ottawa Glandor. We had a pretty good look at that, Dar. Looked like it might have gone off a, yeah, just a lady Titan, her. but maybe it was hit hard enough that it the ball just looked to be having some side to side movement to it. That's good. Yep. Well, the old adage is, the ball does not lie. Here we'll see how this one turns out. You know, that is not an easy job down there on the floor as Schwederman nearly has a ball handling error and sends it back over. Krause has to go third hit over for Ottawa Glendorf. And Al Sapp got a tip on that one, but what a dig from oh, Amaria. Oh, my goodness. We got ourselves a rally back and forth as Sapp oh, launches it out the back. Oh, what a point Glendorf. Kept alive for Amory Young. That was a great volley by both teams. And, you know, no matter who got the point off of that one, that was good volleyball right there. Great hit and a deflected ball. And what looked to be a sure point for Salina was not so fast. And the faithful return, Michaela Stoner comes up with a kill. Michaela, a 5'8 senior, 105 kills coming into this particular game. Here's Miley Sapp to serve. 
Salina up by one. And we're gonna go at Kimmett. Set for Bellman. Blocked. And gonna go out of bounds off of Salina. It was a good block there by uh, Salina. Just couldn't straighten it up and keep it in bounds. Two girls going up there for that, and uh, both of them, I think, got their hands on it. Kimmett serve. Smack down. Yeah. Claudia Mag with the conversion for the Titans. Yeah, that's one of those that gets right up top of the net like that. And Claudia Mag's eyes got really big and says, Boy, I can really hit this one. Now it's OG by one. Serve for Kimmett and uh, mishandled it for Bangy. Kimmett with 35 aces coming into this one. Add another one to it. And we're going to get a timeout. Salina well used here as it's a two point contest and a game that's gone back and forth early in this first set. We'll return to Andre Glandorf after this on WOSN. Back at Ottawa Glandorf as the first set continues between the Titans and the Bulldogs from Salina. Ottawa Glandorf and Salina have teetered back and forth in this first set and now a two point advantage for the Titans serving. That's gonna be set a little too far out. Caitlin Kimmett, wise look for the Bulldogs just letting that one go. And will have the service. Good communication by the Bulldogs, too, to let each other know, you know, let that one slide through. Emma communication Harder. is so important, I'll it tell you. It is. Emma Harder serves. And Bellman sets up for Mag, and she's able to drop it down just inside the line. Again, with a little help from the top of the net. Addie Bellman's turn to serve for the Titans. Otto Glandorf is the first to 20. Schwerin meets the serve. It's going to hold up there for a moment. And then hit over by Stoner, but it's not going to quite have the air underneath of it. This might be the biggest lead that Otto Glandorf's had in this first Thank set. You're right. That's going to go deflected off a of harder. 22 18. Salina really. A little rattled yep. right at the moment. They need to get their compo composure back. Lady Titans fell behind. But a really rally. There's a big knock for Ava Kanaki. That's the Lee's famous recipe chicken. That Garrett must have been right on the line. I'll tell yep, you what, close. that was deep, and that had to be right on the line. Might be the one that. They need to get back in rhythm. Good serve received for OG. Returned. Bellman, cross court, oh. and knocked in for Sienna Fry. Nearly pried off the floor by Schwederman. That's a big left hand there. And uh, Salina still with their other timeout remaining in the set. They're going to take it. Trailing 23-19. We'll be back as well. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Welcome back to Ottawa Glandor. Titans up late in the first set. Solana trying to return that serve and did get that. Now there's a hit dug up by Harder. And we're going to get two hits called against Solana, bringing up set point. For OG and set number one. Yeah, OG recovering from what was a back and forth match up in, you know, set up until now. Claudia Mag sends it in. Oh, and good job. Recovers. Nearly knocked down by Fry. Hold on, return it. Bellman to Fry, and it's going to fall in. Another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken big spike for Ottawa Glandorf. This one finishes off our first set, 25-19. Titans take a one-set 
one set to nothing advantage. We'll take a timeout and return to the Supreme Court for set two. Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken homestyle happens here. Home cooking for the OG Lady Titans in that first set, 25-19. But not a friendly bounce right there to start the second set. Salina, very competitive throughout those this entirety of the first set. This one went back and forth. Oh, these two squads look pretty even despite the results throughout the WBL slate so far. Yeah, it looked like it. You know, they were sliding on that when they were saying it went off somebody's hand, but they're not, they were saying no, it well, did. So, but uh, yeah, you're right. That first set was back and forth, back and forth before Otto Glandor finally took control of it towards the end. And the setup for Solana Ava Kanapke has had herself quite the first couple of sets here, or set plus, should should it say, averaging over three. Kills per set. Schwierman knocks it into play for Salina. And a big old hitter from Caitlin Kimmett gets it right back to OG. We're tied at two. Well, if you look at that front line for OG, you know, 5'10, 5'11, 6'1. They throw Katie Kaufman there, six foot. I mean, there's a lot of height. And they get up there really high, too, because it's not just, you know, we've seen other people that don't have quite that height. But if they can get up high and get that vertical leap, you know, they can hammer it down, too. One's going to come out for Salina off the block in the up official going to overrule. Now you saw the coach for Salina up on his feet again really fast. He's been standing the whole time, but he really moved out to the court that time. From Kimmett. Salina, the sap. Blocked up front, sap was in there. You get credit with the block. She had 66 blocks coming, or 56 blocks coming into this, this, game, this match. She can get up there high, get her hands up there in front. There's Kraus. And they're gonna be a little too strong from the back row from Sienna Fry. A little bit of deja vu here, isn't it? I mean, yep. we're seeing the same thing yep. that we saw in the first set with Salina coming out strong. I mean, they had a couple of three-point leads in the first set. Bellman to Kimmett Whoa. and another sap stuff. And yeah, that's going to trigger an early out of Glandor timeout. We'll take one, too, stepping out 6 2 Salina on that Wombash Mutual telephone scoreboard in set two from OG. Good start in the second set for Salina as we return to action at the Supreme Court. Wombash Mutual telephone scoreboard favoring the Bulldogs. And just a little discombobulation here for Ottawa Glandor. They were able to really rally at the end of that first set and get a six point cushion by the time it was said and done. And Salina has responded nicely. Yeah, they don't appear rattled from that first set to this one. Here they just be playing their game. And Bellman has an underhand pass, and it'll just go over for Ottawa Glandorf and quickly sent back by Sapp. Oh, and nice Kimmett, job. Little touch to the near side. Goes to her left, hugs the line. A little finesse there by that young lady. Yep. Scoring drop for Ottawa Glendorf ends on that play. Well, that's the thing, like you talked about before about volleyball. I mean, it, momentum can switch back and forth in a heartbeat. So, Schwederman kept it up for Salina. Amory Young had the serve, and a short swing for Kimmett didn't clear the net. 
me to three. Advantage for Salina now because they can't, you know, they're not getting rattled. They're not allowing OG to really cut into that lead right now. Nearly fell in, and guess who up front? Miley Sapp. Couple of blocks early in this set, and she was left wide open in the middle. And a ball that was sent too, to, I guess, too close to her attack range. They're going to go to Claudia Mag, try to angle it down the line. Unsuccessful. I think this is the biggest lead either team's had so far tonight. 10 to 3, a furious pace for Salina, and the serve's going to go short for Bangy. Now you saw Miley Sapp, you know, she's, she's 252 kills, 32 aces, 6 assists, 66 digs, and 56 blocks for that young lady and only a junior. That's it for Salina on the third. So that serve will stay with the Titans. And the junior Kennett will launch it into play. And Otto Aglando will take Fry out. That's Kennedy Fuca into the contest. Uh, serve goes long. Schwederman was set up and had to let it fly on the last moment. It pays off. Gets Salina the serve back. Stopped the momentum that OG was trying to, to build right there. Bellman for Mag. And hit back over for Kaiser, but it's going to go outside. 11-6 is the Titan advantage. Bellman sends it into play. Outside uh, for Stoner. Bellman to Mag. Just punches it over the top. Schwederman back pass for Stoner. Oh, good and dig out. Get cleared the net, and it's eventually going to go out. Very close play there in front of the net. But OG's cut into that lead that Salina had built. Now trolling just by four. Deflects back off Kira Bangi. Salina couldn't recover. Addie Bellman. Up and keep out of with Glandorf on a little bit of a roll. Come back. Trail is underway for the Titans. Offs. Balance set for Kaiser. Oh, good dig right there. A little too close for Cuffer. Turns into a Titan score. All of a sudden, that 10-3 advantage for Salina has evaporated. Well, that's what we said. I mean, this is a game of back and forth emotions, and you know, your adrenaline gets going one way or the other, and Scores can you know rack up really quick. Uh, that'll fall in for Sienna Fry. It's gone with the power for much of the evening, and Solana forced to take the timeout. 11-10, Bulldogs in the second set. OG with a one set to none lead. We'll be back after this on WOSN. at Ottawa Glandorf where Salina holds a narrow lead on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. That was a little bit more sizable a few moments ago, but Ottawa Glandorf is charged back in this second set. And a ball that ricochets off the raised baskets. And evens is up 11-11. We talked about Sienna Fry. I mean, she's a sophomore and, you know, you saw on that hit that she had that just finessed it over the, you know, the net earlier on, you know, after all the power that she was using. Nearly falls in for the Bulldogs. Now Stoner will smack it over the top. 
Back set for Fry. Big block by Stoner, and it falls inside wow. the, t the, uh, the tape. And it's 12-11. You knew the hit was coming from Fry, and Stoner timed the jump perfectly. Stoner with five blocks which coming into this game. And the harder serves it in, and she'll get another try after Adelaide Glandor fails to return it. I'll give credit to Slotty because they're, you know, they could have easily folded up when OG was coming back on them, but they're not. They're they're hanging right in there. Not a whole lot you can do with that fly on the angle from her strong hand and buries that ball in the middle of the floor. Like I said, Fry is sophomore, 188 kills coming into this, 27 aces, 81 digs, and 19 blocks. A little bit of everything. And they get a lift on the set by Haley Kaiser. She's good for nine and a half assists to set. Been busy tonight as the setter. You sure this isn't the first set over again, it, I think? It feels a lot like it. <laughs> Schmiederman has to go to a knee, and Sina has to third hit it over, and it just barely clears. Now back set for Fry, off balance, and Kanapke. Oh, good dig out of there. Couldn't quite clear that one after the attack. Well, we got some back and forth. And Ottawa Glandor on the air. Kanapke with that block. She leads, you know, second on our team with 40 blocks coming into the game. Kaiser. Schmiedermann and banging. And McLandorf could not return it. Trying to get there, Marley Buttlemeyer. And the serve goes to Michaela Stoner. Salina within 10 of a set to win. So a lot to go in this second set. Fry just dumps it over. Quickly returned. Now Buttlemeyer attacks. Kaiser for Kanapi. And Fry tried to make something out of that long pass from Krause. But it's blocked again. Salina Defending the net pretty well they tonight. They are doing a great job of defending the net. I was just about to say, they're getting up there and they're, you know, one or two girls are getting up there and really trying to take away that uh, advantage that OG has at the net. Long and wide on the stoner serve. Well, you know Fry is gonna get hers. You know she's gonna get her hits. She's gonna get enough through there. But being able to come up with a couple of stops, Going a long way, Salina by two, and the attack for Kanapi out the back of the, the volleyball court. Now one point advantage for the Bulldogs as Ottawa Glandorf drops back to serve. This is Bailey Krause, senior libero. Harder received the serve, or it's sent over by Bengi. Krause to Fry. There goes the attack, blocked up front by OG. A little too close to the antenna, that goes out of bounds. Good deflection if you're Salina, that's what they wanted. Yeah, it's interesting to watch them, uh, both the teams at the, at the net, how they get prepared to block shots. Serve for Schwederman goes too long, her second serve error of the night. She Visibly shows some displeasure with her performance of herself there. 17-16. Air Sap just hung Whoa. up in the air for a moment, but adjusted and Salina gets a score back. And this is about the area that Salina kind of fell apart in the first set. They really need to keep their heads in the game right now. Two-point margin for them. And you know, you gotta, you gotta finish this one off against OG. Serve for Kaiser. Hard to control for the Titans. Kaiser will try it again, but not before an Andre Glendorf timeout. 
Neither team letting, letting either one run away here with this one so far. Second set action continues after this on WOSN. Salina by three as we continue the second set here. And out of Landorf. Caitlin Kim quickly gets out of the timeout with a score for the Titans to make it a two-point second set. And Amory Young, who made the play of the first set, drops back to serve an incredible sliding dig. Took away a sure kill from Salina. It feels like, Dar, that might have been one of the plays that really turned the tide for OG in that first set. Salina can't handle the the serve from her. She'll do it again. I think you're right, Garrett. And I, I think it took the wind out of the sails for Salina on that one too, and you know, just kind of defeated them a little bit. Right now her serve right here kind of has Salina a little tied up. Hit down by Bangy, but a tip called on Ottawa Glandorf. Salina will serve it. Kira Bangy will drop back for the Bulldogs. Bangy just a junior on this pretty senior laden uh, Salina team. Titans recover after a hard to handle serve, and it is Sap that turns it into points. Steph get that long arms up there, just comes down hard with it. Kraus receives, now Bellman keeps it in the air, and third hit went clear. Just three to go for the Bulldogs in the second set. Try to even this match up to one apiece. You gotta be impressed with the Salina right now because they're keeping their head about themselves and they're getting the points they need to get. Bailey Kraus. Trying to keep that up for OG, but and Salina on a roll here. Another Kira Bengi serve. Bellman back set for Kimmett. That didn't go over. Four hits on the side for Ottawa Glendor and set point for Salina. Great rebound by the Bulldogs. Off the top of the Net still kept up and a block by Sapp. And that's an appropriate ending to the second set right there. Sapp was in the middle of so much. Her third block of set number two gives the Bulldogs an 18-25 win in the second. We'll have to split this one one time. When we come back, we're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. School board sponsor of WOSN is Wombash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. One set to one, Garrett Mansfield, Dar Nevergong, returning to Ottawa Glendorf for the third set. It's 25-19 OG in set one. Set two goes 25-18 to Salina. Good response for the Bulldogs to even things up, Dar and. They were able to really convert and clean some of those things up from the first set, but most importantly is they jumped out almost as a carbon copy as the first set, but this time they finished the job. They certainly did, and that's that's what you got to be impressed about. It, you know, they recovered from the first set, but they also recovered halfway through the second set and did not allow OG to make the comeback that they made in the first yep. set, and that was big for Salina. And, you know, you can see the excitement building on their side, the momentum getting on their side, the adrenaline start to flow. Now let's see if OG can recover and do the same thing that Salina was able to do in the second set. Whale of an opening serve from Bailey Kraus as that bent its way back in. And she's gonna go into the same direction. Harler meets it and then Sapp pushes it to the opposite end, scores it for the Bulldogs. And that hit about six inches in on the on the sideline. Two on, pretty boys. evenly matched teams, I'll tell you. 
certainly from what we've seen so far. Ladewig Landorf unbeaten in the WBL. And it just three and 10 against other opponents. Meanwhile, Salina right around 500 in both categories for the two-time defending WBL champions. They get out of sorts, trying to return that serve. And Here we go again. Yep, third set in a row. <laughs> Salina has found a little bit of a groove early. They got to maintain that groove. Kraus receives. Fry will push it over the end. And now Sapp goes right at her. Kemet third hit over for OG. And Kaiser to Bangu. That'll fall in. Well, you got me impressed with Carrie Bangu because she's only 5'9, but she gets up there like a yep. six foot one player. serve from Kaiser. Now McLando going to settle for a third hit over. And Sapp sends it a little wide. The right idea, just a little hard and out to the yep. out of bounds. There wasn't anybody over there for OG and she saw the opening. Kennedy Fuca going to take the turn to serve. And the junior. And Sapp would drop it in, nearly pancaked out for Fuca. Side out returns to Salina. And getting Salina off to a fast start here in the third set. And it has to play the role. Buttlemeyer pushes it over the net. Schwederman to Stoner. Adjustment for the Titans. And Fry is oh, blocked by block. Sapp. She is all over in the front middle right now. Sapp and Stoner doing a good job of controlling that net for Salina. 6 2, beginning for the Bulldogs. These two have had their battles over the last several years. The serve receive pops up, hits just that right rafter. Instead of going between them, and speeds its way down back to the floor, triggering an Ottawa Glandorf timeout. 7 2, Solana in set three, tied one set to one on WOSN. Set three action continues at Ottawa Glandorf. One set to one. Outside look for Kimmett, going to ricochet off Lily Schreffler and fall in for Ottawa Glandorf. And at the big 5'11 junior on the outside. Here comes Amory Young. She'll serve it in. Schwederman that pries it off the floor. And then the hit from Schreffler blocked in front. Oh, the Glendorf getting in the black party. Now, excuse me, that would have that fell in on their end. Yeah, another five point advantage for Salina. Sapp will serve. There's the hit for Kimmich. Too long. And she knew it too. She went up and she couldn't get the, the spike down. She hit it pretty much straight on. Similar territory for Salina to start this third set. Nearly fell apart there and they're not going to be able to get that back over top. I think this was the score of the second set. It was. 10 three. Yep. Yes, it was. Salana's improved it. They finished the job in set two. Ottawa Glandorf recovered to take set one. And here's Claudia Mag. Her strike is knocked down. Ava Kanapke was in the way of that attack. And another timeout for Ottawa Glandorf. That'll be their second already, down 11-3. We'll take it also. Be back to Ottawa Glandorf after this on WOSN. Eleven three, Salina in the third set of a one set to one tie. 
and now the Titans out of timeouts early in the second set. Uh, they're not going to be able to stop anything else. If Solana keeps the momentum going, they want to call for a touchdown for that last attack, but it's going to go back to OG. And yeah, Solana coach again arguing his case, but not to no avail, and the point goes to Otto Blandor. Now the Titans need to string more than one point at a time. Yep. And they had a chance for a third hit, and Schwederman is able to deliver. Block in the front. Ava Kanapke was there. And they're going to call it Salina Point. It fell right in front of the score stand. Our up official had to confirm. Line judge was all over it. It's 12 to 4. This is what I mean by not having any timeouts left, Dar. Yeah, that's the, right. The second. Now you got to play it out. Yep, you got to. Play the hand dealt from here on out. But at the same time, if you don't extinguish the fire early, there might not be anything to recover from. Absolutely. That point to Otto Glendorf again, like I said, Otto Glendorf cannot just exchange points back and forth at this stage. You're down seven. You've got to string together three or four points before you give the ball back to just line it to play. Madison McKee just checked in for the Titans. Slatter will get caught with a lift. Addie Bellman to serve for the second time in a row. Schwederman meets it. Set for Kaiser, dropped in uh -huh. for Kanaki. Six foot senior just dropped that one right over the net. 197 kills coming into this this match. Big swing blocked. I think they're into the net though. McKenna Fry on that last attack for Ottawa Glandorf as Claudia Mag will serve it in. Wiederman meets, and Kaiser to Bangy. And the call is going to go off the antenna block after the block for Ottawa Glandorf. Slide a double up now, 14-7. Schwederman serves, she keeps it in range this time. Hit, and she nearly dug it out. Ella White. In the action for OG. Ella White, a six foot freshman. He just keeps throwing in six footers all over yep. the place. But so give Slinus front line a lot of credit. They've been able to hold their own. Michaela Stoner met the serve. And Bangy had to really lean back to get the right angle on that ball. And not able to leverage it back down to the floor. So it's 14-9. And Kraus serves out a little far. Michaela Stoner kind of double clutch, thought about going after it, let it go. Again, good communications by Salina. You got to talk to each other to let them know how close are you, is that to the line. Kaiser to snap, she's blocked. And that'll hit the Raptor and head down. I'll tell you, Gary, when it hits the Raptors up there, you have no idea what it's going to yep. do. I mean, it, it could go either direction or it can come straight down on you with a little bit more speed than what it went up there. Again, or Sienna Fly serve goes too far. 16-10 on that Wampash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Right now that's being the OG's Achilles heel because they'll get a point, but then their serve goes long. And another big time score in the middle for Miley Sapp. 
hard to find an answer for for this one, and it really hasn't been a, a whole lot of her hitting. A lot of her scoring has been coming off of the defensive opportunities for her. That time, Celina is able to finish the kill and lead it 18-10. She's been very efficient there in the middle for this line of Bulldogs. That one's going to rattle around upstairs again. Solana in a good position. And now out of Atlanta, if again, they've used both timeouts earlier in the set, so it cannot stop the rally as Kira Bangi fires the serve into the net. Is that to break the Titans' knee? We'll have to yep. see that. Amber Young will serve as she enters. Torella White. Serve up. Schwederman receives. Oh. And set it up for Sapp. <laughs> Good pass for Kaiser, a little quick hitter. Perfectly timed. And Bulldogs are fired up right now with all the momentum. Up 2011 in set three. Yeah, that was a great set for that for Sapp. And that'll be too strong. Should the WBL volleyball world keeping close tabs and on how this one is developing. The big showdown potentially later in the week, but Salina reminding everybody, hey, let's, we're not gonna be a pass. It's because we've lost a couple in the league earlier in the year. And they continue to fight it out against Ottawa Glandworth. Well, Salina absolutely showing their medal right now because, you know, they're telling everybody, you know, we, we didn't come into this thing with the idea that OG being undefeated in the league is going to just take over for, from us. We're going to fight to the end. Third hit over for Stoner. They're set up fry for the back row and blocked. Who else? Kanaki and Stoner were there. I think Kanaki made the contact. Since Sapp has rotated out of that spot and is off on the bench at the moment for defensive purposes. And this is when your timeout would come in handy correct. and you don't have it. Probably would have been used a while oh, ago wow. and that's another big block in the Salinas Moxie is really breaking out in this third set as they look to take a 2-1 advantage after this second set dominating They've gotten better as the night has gone on, haven't they, Doug? Oh, they certainly have, and they all have gotten better as the night has went on. And Kanaki, a little misdirection, looked like she was going to hammer it. And went with the finesse, turns into set point Salina. 24 to 12. Well, in that first set, Salina got to the hot start. OG recovered and won the set. And a great diving hold up for Harder. And now fall is. in. Two set to one lead for the Bulldogs. Ottawa Glandorf recovered in the second set, and Salina was able to punch back and win it. This time, there was not a whole lot of punch back. It was all Salina. 25 12 after three, three, or two to one. As we enter the fourth set, coming back after this on WOSN. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Homestyle happens here. Two to one is the set lead for the Salina Bulldogs. 25-12 in that third set to break the 1-1 one -one tie. And right now, harnessing all the momentum. These early points are going to be very important for Ottawa Glandorf to uh, just get started on the right foot. I don't think you come out of this really saying, well, obviously there's a mentality. We're not, we cannot lose another set, but there has to be a bite at a time. There's gotta That's be, right. let's, let's win, let's set this thing up in, in fives. Let's win the, the first five and then get to the next five and go from there or something to that uh, mentality. You know, a lot of 
I'll tell you, Garrett, competition, that competition split things like that to win the little battles. That second set win for uh, Salina was big because Otto Glendorf hasn't been involved in a five set game so far this season. Now, Salina has been. They won, they beat Defiance in 3 3 2 early on, but, you know, OG hasn't gone that far. Now, they've lost some three to ones, you know, matches and that kind of thing, but they've never gone five sets. So to win this one, they're going to have to win the next two. It will be needed if they want to continue to be unbeaten in the WBL. Now they would still have a chance for a co-championship if they do lose tonight. You know, if they can knock off Shawnee, who's been on a roll all season long, that's you know with a 16 and one record, and still with one match after to go after this week, as the first score of the set goes to Salina and Michaela Stoner. We'll serve it up. Stoner, Bangy, Kaiser, Kanapke, Carter, and Schwederman on the floor for Salina. As that's pushed out by Fry. Fry joined by Hallie Schrader, Addie Bellman, Caitlin Kimmett, Claudia Mag, and Bailey Krause on the floor. It's going to go to Krause and angle off to the scores table. And it's a 3-0 start for the Dogs. Just as they have in all the sets so far. They've gotten out to, to the lead, early lead. You know, they kind of faltered in the second set, but they picked up the other two sets. And if they can continue this momentum and build a big enough lead here, they can withstand OG if they do make a comeback. And Kayla Stoner gets a, an ace. Barely going to go to Sienna Fry just to get the palate cleansed a little bit, but it's going to stay in the air. A little too strong and a broken play. Over for Salina, dug by Kimmett. Out for Fry, she'll push it, Schwederman controls it. And now Kanapke drops it in. Krauss got to the ball, but nobody on that side beyond her. I'll tell you, the Bulldogs are feeling it right now. And there is a timeout after a 5-0 start for Salina. They can taste it here at the Supreme Court. We'll take the timeout and return to the fourth set of WOSM. A big start for Salina. 5-0 over WBL foe Ottawa Glandorf. And it's going to keep rolling after that timeout. You know, we've seen it dark. Last couple of sets, Ottawa Glandorf has been early on the timeouts just to get things right before they get too far out of hand. I uh, don't know how many more scores you go before knocking the next one in to get the mentality right. And Stoner's yeah. roll on the service continues. Well, an OG looks a little out of sorts. I mean, they look in that third set, they looked like they were kind of not in rhythm with each other, not communicating with each other. You know, whatever it was, because they were just not in sync. Big performance for Salina here in Ottawa. Mags attack is dug out. There's a hit on the outside by Kira Bangy. And the green and white continue to rack him up. 8 nothing start. Miscommunication in the back again. Bellman a little tied up, thinking she had Kimmett off to her right. That falls in for Bengi. Excuse me, for Stoner. She'll launch it in. Kimmett meets. That time the set was put up by Fuca. And that's going to drop in again for Salina. Bulldogs, oh. they've got all of the momentum. All of it right now and they, and they are so excited right now that you know you've got to get a point for OG to stop this and it goes to 10 nothing in this fourth set and the second out of a glen north timeout their last stoppage unless they can rank the ship we'll find out how it results after this on wosn Continuing WBL Volleyball here in Ottawa. A 
a 10-0 lead for Solana in set four. OG took the first set tonight, 25-19. In 25-18, 25-12, Solana for the next two. And Sienna Fry, her first shot, gets knocked in the air. We play on through potentially contact in the net. Now Schwederman passes for Kaiser and just dumps it off. And Haley wow. Kaiser had everyone full. Not sure if that was by design or not, but just kind of floated it over into no man's land. Well, she's going to say it was by design. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no matter what anybody else says, that was by design. And the serve by Stoner, you know, you serve that many times in a row, you're yeah. bound to let one lose, but the Solana crowd gives her a nice ovation as the Bulldogs up 10 in the fourth set. But OG's got to take advantage of this now. They need some, they need to stack some points together, and it's not going to happen there as no, Kanaki gets the side out return. And now look who steps into the contest up front. It's Miley Sapp, who's been a problem for Ottawa Glandorf when she's been up front. And to be honest, Dar, she's kind of shut down Sienna Fry since the second set. Yes, she has. She made her adjustments that she needed to make. She got a, kind of an idea of how Sienna Fry hits the ball. And now it's going to go out on Ottawa Glandorf. And it looks like they're going to give the point to Salina. Had a Titan tangled up into the into the twine. So the long hit is moot. And Schwederman will serve it up again. A 13-1 advantage for the Bulldogs. She's gonna go short front. Claudia Bag meets it. Now outside to McKenna Fry. And that drops in. So Fry found a spot she liked. And attacked. She'll swap places with Kennedy Fuca. And she finally got a set up there that she could really get up high on and hammer down. No matter what uh, Sweetman was going to do, she wasn't going to stop it. Stoner receives. Kaiser to Sap. Boy, she had everybody move in the opposite direction. You can see the Titan the defense drifting to the front right and and it's exactly where Salina wanted them to go, and Sapp hammered it down. Yeah, great vision by that young lady to find, that, find the spot that she wanted. Well, Salina, after the last two years, their volleyball conference championships are up to 28. Block in the front for Madison McKee, but it's going to be outside of the stripe. Serve will stay with Salina as they're up 15 to 2. Ottawa Glandorf has won 11 at Western Buckeye League crowns. Haley Kaiser's serve is short. Well, so far, two of the three points that uh, the Titans have gotten have come on miscues by yep. Salina, not on their own. Kaiser to Sap, oh. and this one is going to be hard to return. And indeed, Bulldogs continue to move it. Salida, after this one, will have just one more WBL match. I don't Glandorf still with two to try to salvage at least a share of the crown. They're still in position, just one of those nights you have that it seems to be well, it, you got rolling and couldn't quite continue to repeat the, the recovery from the first of, from the first set today. No, you couldn't. And, and like I said, you know, it just seems like they were out of the rhythm. They didn't have anything really, you know, the second set, you know, Salina kept coming back, coming out strong to start each set. OG was able to recover on the one, but you know. They really have not, throughout all this match, had that kind of in sync that they need. And that's that only the second point that they've gotten yep. off themselves. Great serve from Ella White to 
keep it moving for OG. Put the Bulldogs in prime position. Just play clean volleyball the rest of the way, and they would have handed OG their first conference loss of 2023. And they're going to lose that one in the ceiling. And again, a matter of communications, because it came down between three girls, and nobody knew who was going to get it. You know, like I said, it's, it's kind of tough when it comes off the rafters, because you don't know what it's going to do. That one dropped in between three of them. Attack from Haley Schrader. This one's going to angle off again. Sapp will serve it. Salina 19-5. They've been able to widen the gap every set they've won so far. Attack from Kimmett. Now Schreffler will turn into her kill. And the Bulldogs on the cusp of it. Just five points to go. Remember, they started out on an 11-0 rally in this fourth set. Down a set to none. They've won the last two and are well on their way to the third as Ottawa Glendorf powers up but cannot land it inside the chalk lines. Wow, this, this is not what anybody would have expected in this entire gymnasium, I'm sure. You know whether Slider is going to win or not, but not to dominate here in this set here the way they have. Senior Kayla Newding checks in for the first time tonight. Bellman pass for Kimmett, kept up for Kaiser. And Schreffler got another kill. Got 33 kills coming into this match, the 5'10 freshman. Sap serve is met for OG. Bellman to Kimmett. That's going to go short. And a dominant front set for Salina. Just two points away from handing OG their first defeat. You know, you got to think about the seniors on this Salina team. Now the, the league year has not gone the way they had hoped. But to come into this building, for the battles that they've had with OG the last couple of years. And to win in this fashion, it's got to feel pretty special. It'd oh, be it be an enjoyable bus ride back to the north of Grand Lake. And there's Kanapi just knocking it over. Bellman sets up for Sienna Fry. She knocks it in for OG. Needing a lot more of those from yep. Sienna Fry. Addie Bellman will serve it. Run up and put it into play. Met by Newton. And Kanapke would just push it and hit it again on the over. And in the Raptors, so many of those have happened on the other side of the floor <laughs> tonight. Salina, bound to have them. Still, you know, you have so many new gymnasiums around the area. The higher that you, you yeah. really don't come into this very often. But I tell you what, that's one of the things that makes this Supreme Court volleyball, basketball, it makes it as enjoyable as ever. It adds something else. There's intimacy to this building. It gets loud no matter what sport is in here. Oh, and OG always has a crowd. Yep. You know, even this is a Tuesday night volleyball match, and this place has got a, a lot of people here. Newton will just hammer it over the top, and Ottawa Glando can't return it. The senior Newton. She get credit for her fifth kill of the year. Emma Hardy will go back in the, the senior to serve it. Match point for Salina. And Fry drops it in to make Salina wait a little bit longer for it. This rally scoring, it can take an air, can take anything for Salina to finish it off. Yeah, this is where your serve comes is so important right now for OG. 
Kimmett sends it in. Schwederman receives. It goes over. Bellman to Krause. And now Mag. Long rally for Salina. And we said close, intimate crowd. Yeah, and, that's, well, that's very close. That is as I don't think much, she planned on the, <laughs> much as part of the action as you can get. Yeah, I don't think she planned on playing volleyball <laughs> tonight, but she was part of it. 24-11 as Kimmett sends it back in. Kaiser outside to Newting. And that will fall directly on the back line wow. to seal the win. The senior, Caitlin Newton closes it out for the Salina Bulldogs. She gets two kills late in the ball game. And that'll do it. 25-19 OG sent one. 25-18, 25-12. 25-11, Salina stuns out of the Glandorf on their own floor. Ninth win of the year for the Bulldogs. Out of the Glandorf falls to 9-11, but more importantly, they lose their first match of WBL play in 2023. Well, they still have the opportunity. They could be co-champions with Shawnee. They have to knock off the Indians on, on Thursday. Now, we have seen Shawnee play, so that's going to be a tall order for OG. But, you know... Anything can happen like we saw tonight. I mean, you saw a slide team come in here and just just play their hearts out. I mean, they, they didn't have anything to lose. I mean, they, they'd come out here and put everything into it, and they did. And they just did a nice job of making adjustments. They give the coach a lot of credit. They made a good adjustments at the at the net. They took Fry pretty much out of it after you know the first set, the first couple sets. And what a big win for them to go five and three in the WBL. Huge win for the Bulldogs. Congratulations to Coach Bangy and the entire crew. And we thank all of you for watching tonight. Also like to thank Wabash Mutual Telephone and Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken being part of our partners for the evening. Thanks to all the folks here at Ottawa Glendorf. Good visit each and every time. Thanks to Athletic Director Tyson McLaughlin and everyone here at Ottawa Glendorf. He's Dar Nevergall. I'm Garrett Mansfield. From our crew, Jacob O'Neill and more, thanks for watching High School Volleyball here on WOSN.